how to make nut milk in five minutes without having to have your nuts sit in a cheesecloth overnight. So I just made homemade almond milk and macadamia nut milk. And I wanted to try macadamia nut milk because it does have a lot of the benefits or nutritional benefits that olive oil has. So um, I have yet to try it, but I do like macadamia nut. Okay, so here's the way that you can make nut milk in five minutes with the push of one button. It is with this almond milk or nut milk maker called Almond Cow. And you just push this button right here. Mm. So this is what it looks like. It's super easy to use, very easy to clean up. So one of the reasons why, how I found this was I Googled how to make almond milk without a strainer. I wanted something that was really easy, really fast to do. And the reason why is because most of the almond milks and nut milks out there, if you check your ingredients, it has sunflower oil. And sunflower oil is high in omega-6 oils, which can be highly inflammatory to your body, as well as some skin conditions. So I started to talk to some of my clients about how to change their diet. And one of the things that I found was including in my own nut milk was having sunflower oil in the in the nut milk and some of them even had it added sugars to it and this is one way where you know what is going into your nut milk um, and it's very very simple to use and on their website it actually has all different types of recipes that you can use to make everything from nut milk nut milk creamers for your coffee um, drinks pastries, all kinds of things, keto friendly, sauces, all kinds of things. And I do want to add, I am not being sponsored by this company, but I thought, I'm actually doing this video really for people who are looking for something easy to do, but a lot of my clients who have skin conditions that I am recommending certain ways to eat in order to re reduce that inflammation for their, um, their skin conditions that they have been you know, trying to treat for years and years and years. And for those of you who are completely addicted to coffee creamer, one of my clients could not get off the vanilla flavored coffee creamer. So one of the ways that you can do it is you could actually use this to make your nut milk creamer just by using less water ratio um, when you're doing it and you can add flavorings to it. So in her uh, example, you just have to use vanilla extract for this. So we're gonna get into the first step on how to do nut milk in less than five minutes or less. Now this goes on top and it is connected to this casket right here. And it has a little thing here that says lock. But basically what you're gonna do, this is where you're gonna put your nuts. So you're gonna just twist this off and then put your nuts right in here. So you have your water filled in here already. I've added the nuts already in here and then you're just gonna add this in here and make sure that it just fits right on top and then you plug it in. Once you plug it in, the green light will light up right here and then you just press the almond cow and it's ready to go. I like to add coconut milk, so I use the Trader Joe's Organic Reduced Fat Coconut Milk. And you can make your own in the almond cow too, but I like to make my life a little bit simpler because if you look at the ingredients, it's just water and organic coconut. So I just shake it and blend. Sometimes the coconut milk that you buy will be clumpy because the fat will separate from the liquid. So you do have to blend it. Then when it's done, you just pour it right into your milk jug. So now you have your fresh homemade milk right here, ready to go. Five minutes later. So now what do you do with all that leftover almond meal or oatmeal or coconut meal that you have after you've made your fresh homemade milk?
You can also use it to make vegan butter, where the recipes are all on the website. But the recipe calls for four sticks of butter, and you pour it into silicone molds. Personally, I don't want to pour anything into silicone, so I bought this butter dish here. And the one recipe you can pour the entire thing and make one big butter dish, right here. And you can use this lid for also a serving dish for the butter. So it's kind of dual purpose. You can even make pastries, some of them even keto friendly, with your nut milk. Super easy to clean, just two to three pieces to rinse off and just with water right after using. Just lay out to air dry. And it doesn't take too much space in the kitchen. You can make your recipes keto, sugar free and or gluten free. So I guess in this case, cooking is an art and baking is a science. See you in the next video.